Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a Spider-Man can. But Spider-Man, Spider-Man, why you no know being Avengers? What's up my want this is Team on the House here, and you are watching Modern Warfare 3 Domination on Downturn. Sorry guys, I lied to you in the previous video that this was going to be, that my previous video, that that was going to be the last Domination match. But who really gives a shit, honestly? This is another Call of Duty video, and what else do you guys suspect, okay? So let's move on to my, our topic. And my topic is going to be about the amazing Spider-Man, the one that just recently came out. Um, now, why am I using Call of Duty to do this movie review? Well, it's a lot easier for me. I don't have to wear sunglasses, and I don't have to memorize my script. I could just read it off, and you guys could have a two-for-one deal, basically. But in all honesty, I really think the movie was a good movie. Um, I really like how the actors and actresses really uh, did a good job in portraying their actors, especially Andrew Garfield. Um, and, and what I heard is that Andrew Garfield really wanted to be Spider-Man, and he deserved it. He got that credit. He's now officially our ultimate Spider-Man because he had that little cocky feeling uh, that ultimate Spider-Man had, but still had that little nerdy kind of side of him. And it was just overall good movie, good story plot. Uh, really had good character de development, and as I read from others um, movie reviews, it had its own its second best to Spider-Man 2 from the original uh, trilogy, the first three movies. Now, as you can read from my title, I'm saying this is the amazing disappointment. I'm not saying the movie was disappointing, I'm saying how the storyline went. Because uh, after reading some movie reviews from, um, from other sources, now I'm not sure how reliable they are, but I have a good feeling that it's pretty reliable and pretty accurate because these are it, it, it's a corporation thing because what I'm disappointed is about is that Sony is not going to well not Sony, Spider-Man is not going to be intertwined with the Avengers so the movie that we saw Avengers a couple of months ago is not going to be part. Spider-Man is not going to be part of it. So, if people are con uh, considering, oh, Spider-Man Two, uh, Spider-Man is going to be part of the Avengers Two. Sorry, it's not. The reason why is Sony is once is kind of greedy about it, and they want to talk about a, how basically how Peter Parker's parents die and explain Peter Parker's dark past in a trilogy fashion which I think it's kinda of stupid really because if you think about it you already have your original trilogy and now you're rebooting it to make another trilogy that's kinda of stupid now if I was supposed to direct Spider-Man I could easily enter twine it with the Avengers and still make it better too. Now the Avengers can also base off of Spider-Man and play also a crucial part to uh, to it. And this is my prediction of how Spider-Man should play out. As you guys know if well actually I shouldn't say this. So spoiler alert at the end, um, Spider-Man, uh, in the end of Spider-Man, Dr. Connor was talking to an, a dark side of him. Now, I think that this dark side is actually the Green Goblin uh, alter ego. As you remember from the first movie, um, I forgot, the Osborne guy, Dr. Osborne, um, it was injected with this was the serum to enhance his body, 
and uh, he had the alter ego. Same thing happened with Dr. Connor. Now this alter ego, this dark side of, you could say, um, can transfer from uh, different bodies. And this is where the Green Goblin comes in. Now, that's just Spider-Man 2. And I could say Spider-Man 3 could be about Hobgoblin because Spider-Man 2 um, will talk about the fight between Spider-Man and Green Goblin and Spider-Man kills the Green Goblin and Harry Osborn who is the Hobgoblin will realize this was his father and will have this hateful uh, resentment against Spider-Man just like um, how the original trilogy went. Now, what makes it different is that Spar um, Harry Osborn, the Hobgoblin, doesn't know who Spider-Man is. And this is where it comes to the f part where the Avengers come in. Because I think the Avengers 2, which I, will be a whole different topic, um, I'll tell you later on, will bring in Spider-Man as an Avenger. And he saves the world against, um, with the other Avengers, with, um, with, against, um, Damius, Danos, Dan I, I can't pronounce it, shoot, Damius, the, the Titan guy from the end credit of the Avengers. And, in Avengers 3, um, we will see a civil war between Captain America and uh, Iron Man and they will do this uh, civil war against each other where there's one side um, proactive, pro-registration and other side anti-registration. Now if you guys read about the civil war there's a crucial part where Spider-Man joined the pro-registration and that pro-registration um, that pro-registration uh, what was it? pro-registration um, sorry guys pro-registration uh, no 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 if you guys read let's, let's get back to it in the Civil War there's a cri critical part where um, Spider-Man joins the pro-registration and within that pro-registration he had to take off his mask and that's when it reveals that he's Peter Parker now, Harry Osborn in the Dirt movie will realize about that and will get angry at Spider Man and try to kill him. That's how the Hobgoblin works. Once that, uh, once that happens, um, Spider Man will eventually defeat the Hobgoblin. And Harry goes to jail. But Hammer, the the anti, you know, the almost like the one that's played in, sh uh, that's trying to compete against Stark Industry will bail Harry out and give Harry the Iron Patriot suit. Now, where does this Iron Patriot suit come from? Well, I got um, some notice that in Iron Man 3, there's a s villain that has a similar armor as the Iron Patriot. And this is where I think Harry will dome the Iron Patriot suit and create the Dark Avengers. Now, I could explain more about the Avengers, but that'll be a different video. It's gonna be a lot complicated. My my prediction is really long, and one gameplay cannot uh, do it. But basically, Harry will dome in the Iron Patriot suit, and you have the Civil, and you have the Dark Avenger versus the Avengers himself. Now, how can I say? Now, as you guys know, that um, in the Dark Avenger, it attacked Asgard. Well, um, I'll tell you about. I'll tell you guys later on how that Avenger will play out. But uh, you also real if you guys also read the Dark Avengers that there was. Um, which you call it? Uh, Dark Avengers. Oh, there was Venom. So 
you, you can put in Venom, but in the Spider-Man to give out the adventures, but uh, it's up to whatever Sony wants to do. See how lenient my thing is? It's very lenient, and if you guys really uh, think this should happen, or have any question, because you know I I I am kind of unclear with my um, talk sometimes. I haven't really mastered that yet, and as of me, I haven't really done anything. I haven't really did a lot of commentary before, a lot of commentary lately. So um, yeah. So that was just the end of the gameplay, and I'm gonna just tell you if you really like how I predict it, um, please leave a comment and a like. Uh, give me your opinion on Spider-Man the movie, and what you think about um, my prediction, and or your prediction of how Avengers or Spider-Man should go out. Now I hope you like this video. Um, remember to subscribe and please one time if this. Uh, if my prediction gets enough light, maybe Sony could see it, and maybe Sony will consider reconsider their idea because it's not too late to join the Avengers. Now they could be greedy and stuff, but you know that's most companies. Oh, let's just try to make it the best for us viewers. All right. So leave a like. Let's hope Sony sees this video, and let's hope they reconsider my prediction. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.